All right, we're going to start out with scaling this new set work. We're going to come in here, open up the door, come to the setup screen. We got our setup screen. We're going to come over here to the Baker products, put our thumb right in the corner, touch it. It's going to take us to this screen here. So you have to measure your blade. You go around, you go from the bump up to the bottom point of the tooth. I've already got it set at one inch. I come over here, tap this zero for low scaling point. 1.000. You'll see it right up here. I'll hit enter. Then I come over here and hit enter. Now, I'm going to raise the head up manually, raise the blade. This has roller guides, so it won't go to 36 inches. Now I'm going to go measure the blade to make sure it's exactly 35. When you've got your 35 inches or whatever measurement you want, you go to high scaling point, push the zeros, enter it in 35.000, hit enter, and then come over here and hit enter. You have to hit enter twice, once on the keypad and then once beside the number. Now it says 35. I'll move it down. You notice that it's counting? Now I can hit, go back into my main screen. I'm gonna start entering my set. Set one is zero. You can do this on either side. Oops. I went too far. I'll go ahead and put that on one inch. This is very similar to our previous set work. It's just a PLC instead of a, a card. We tried to keep it set as close as uh, possible to what we already had. Now we're on our cores, it still operates the same way. We go through core two. They all work the same.
Now the curve. It's going to be a little bit thicker than our previous set works. For, on our previous set works for a 50,000th blade, we ran 100. On this curve, on this machine, with this set works, the 50,000th will be 115. Touch the zero to get the keyboard to pop up. Push point one one five. You can see it up here in the corner. And hit enter. Next screen. Tear. The tear operates differently than the previous set works. The previous set works was a number that the machine was going to find. On this one, we can actually tell the two-speed valve where to kick in with the tear. So, we're going to go 0 0.750, enter, next, offset, 0.625, enter, and then we're right back to our running screen. Now, this is important, whenever you first turn this on, it's going to say set zero, zero, four, zero, zero. It knows what it wants, but you have to select it. So every time you turn it off and turn it back on, it'll have to boot up. So set one, click it. If you want inch and an eighth, just find your inch and an eighth. You still got your highs and lows on both the cores and the set. You want to choose the core, you choose it. Your yellow core light lights up. You still make your set and your offset the same way with your joystick. You can see your reference light lit up here. Your core selected. I can clear that with the reset, just like normal. And the reset is still going to work just like it always has. Whenever you put a new log up, you clear the last log out. You hit a set, and you're ready to turn the log. You still have to hit reset to clear the last side out. So we tried to make it operate as close as possible to what we already had to throw the learning curve off. It's really similar. 